Yeah, yeah, you already know what it is, man. It's the kid, Jalil. And you tuned in to Ski TV. Holla at me. You've never met Bobby Schmerna, correct? Uh-uh. Oh, I was supposed to uh, meet him last week, um, but I was back and forth to New York. He was out here last week, and uh, we supposed to start on his album. Mm -hmm. Shout Money had me come out here, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it out. But uh, as soon as I get back, I think he's out of Florida now. But as soon mm -hmm. as I get back, we're gonna go, I'm, we're gonna go out to New York and uh, start to work on the album. You know what I mean? So how did? Yeah. What was your first conversation? Then? I did. Like, I reached out to him actually um, like after I found <laughs> out the record was buzzing. I hit him up on Instagram. I sent him a DM, and I was like, "Yo, call me real quick. You know what I mean? Like, give me your number." So he gave me his number. <laughs> And I uh, hit him up, and he was excited, like, yo, man, like, I'm a fan, like, me and the homies on the block, we fans, man, like, we came up off your stuff, the stuff I had with Meek Mill, you know what I mean, and uh, I just told him, I was like, yo, uh, you know, I love the song, mm -hmm. and everybody's talking about it, and, uh, you know, if you want to take it further, then you got my blessing, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, Banks never um, actually bought the record, you know what I mean, because uh, he had put, I didn't know that he had did the record, um, until like he was like about to drop it. Okay. So he hit me up like, yo, I need the session for it. You know, we about to do this and that. But he never really did nothing with the record. So um, I put it on a mixtape. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's your next question or not, but mm -mm. I put it on a mixtape <laughs> called uh, Crack Music 6. And that's how Bobby got it. You know, mm -hmm. I put out a, a mixtape with like all the records I produced like prior that year, mm -hmm. like all the hit records and stuff like that. And um, Jackpot was just a record that was on there. You know what I mean? And uh, he grabbed it. And, uh, Recorded it, and the next next thing you know, it's super huge. You know what I'm saying? So when you first heard it, or even saw the video, what was your reaction? Uh, I thought it was cool. You know what I mean? It just was something new. Like you never heard nothing like that from New, from New York. You know what I mean? From Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Then he had to dance, and then the hat came off, and it's like I, it's a, do you it's know cool. where the hat went? Because he said <laughs> it went to the top. Yeah, it went straight to the top. It just never came yeah. down. No. Did, were people hitting you up saying, did you hear this song? Yeah, or? that's that's how, I was late. That's the crazy thing. Like, I think the record was out like maybe uh, a month prior to me finding out, or maybe like three weeks prior to me finding out. And I just, everybody just kept hitting me up on Instagram, like with the video and stuff yeah. like that. And then uh, my people's reached out to me like, yo, this record is like, everybody is on this record. You know what I mean? So I reached out to him like, yo, you got my blessing, man. He's a young kid. You know, out of Brooklyn, you know, he's from the streets, he's trying to make it, so I'm, I would never hold nobody back, you know what I mean? Especially if Banks didn't buy the beat. And then Epic actually bought the beat. Oh, nice. a, um, maybe like a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, about a week ago. Yeah, for real. There you go. Yeah, do Epic you know how to do the shmoney dance? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No, I never no. even tried. <laughs> I'm gonna make you try. Oh, man. <laughs> for this you interview. gotta do it with me, though. I'm horrible at it. You saw my video. Oh, we both gonna be hard, horrible at it. When you try to teach me with that accent, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, so I look stupid, but we'll try later. Okay, so I kind of want to go off topic, but not really off topic. We were talking about the song, and off camera, I was saying, I can't say what the song is called. Hot okay. nigga. Hot nigga. <laughs> but you said I have a pass because you got a pass. I'm Filipino. So yeah. how are Not to sound <laughs> ignorant, but it's like, you know. So, no, let's let's break down the rules for that. Who gets a pass and who doesn't? And is that something that... Honestly, it's just... To me, I mean, it's a word. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we need to get past that. It's 2014. And, you know, I mean... America's about money. It ain't about no, no race, really. You know what I'm saying? It's about classes. Them levels that you go up to. It ain't really about race. So people need to understand that it's just a word. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. I mean, we get a pass for saying a, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Comedians say a lot of stuff. That is true. So, you yeah. know, we need to really figure out how to unite and make shit better over here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for your time and congrats on all your success. Thank you. Appreciate it. My charity, uh, Jug Life, where we, uh, we're going to Uganda in 2015 to build two water wells for the less. You know, we came a long way. We came a long way. We came from the hood. We came from one of the, 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 the baddest hoods.